What's going on guys? Welcome back to video number 15 in my series on making a mobile game with JavaScript. Now today is going to be a super quick video. Today I actually want to go over not just focusing our middle system but focusing just the closest system to the middle of the screen so we can actually move around our entire universe now. And surprisingly it's actually not that much work. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by scrolling all the way down to our touch end function right here. And inside this function, we want to create two new variables here right outside our for loop that we wrote. And we're just going to call a variable um, focus and we'll make a variable called dist, just standing for distance. Because what we want to do, and we'll set this to zero. And what we're basically doing here is we want to, when we run through these systems, we want to find out which of those systems is closest to the center of the screen. So we're already getting the X and Y position of the actual system on the screen. So the first thing we want to do inside this for loop is actually create another variable. And we'll just create it up here and we'll call it line. And we won't initialize it to anything. We'll just set it there. And then here what we want to do is we want to set line equal to line distance, which is one of our functions that we've used before. And we actually want to pass in now, remember, line distance takes two objects, each with an X and a Y, to measure the distance between them. So the first object we want to pass in here is basically the center of the screen. So we want to set the X value equal to the window.innerWidth divided by 2, and the Y to the window.innerHeight divided by 2. Because that's the center of our screen on the y and the x value. So the next object we want to pass in is just the coordinates for the system that we're currently on. So we want to set x to our x value and y to our y value. And that will measure the distance between those two. Now the center of the screen and how far away that system was when we touch ended. So the next thing we want to do is we want to actually make an if statement here inside of this for loop. And what this if statement is going to check for is whether the line is less than the dist. And this is because line is what's running on the current loop, and then dist would be basically finding us our, our smallest value. So line is finding this for every single system, and then dist is just saving whichever one is the lowest. But remember, dist is already initialized to 0, which means we want to say or i equals 0 because you know if it's on 0, since 0 is the lowest number we could possibly have, we want to negate this part. And we want to run straight in and set the first value. And then, of course, in this, if, those, if that is met, what we want to do is we want to set dist equal to line. And then we want to set focus equal to our universe dot systems at that index. So basically what we do is run through every single system and then if you keep finding one lower and lower and lower then it will keep setting it and then finally once you've run through all of them you know which one's closest to the middle. So now we have that value. Now once we've found that value outside of this for loop we're calling focus dot init. And remember inside of this function we actually wrote a variable f equals universe.systems, 0. And that was just grabbing the middle one. Well, now what we want to do is just delete this. And then we could just put f right here. And then what we could do is pass in focus. So now what we did is we ran through that loop, found which system was closest, and set it. And then when the loop was over, we know we run through all of them and found the closest one. And now we're just passing that in to our init. And now that's what f is. And so it will reference that one rather than referencing the one we set manually. All right, and one difference here actually is that these right here should actually be set to 0. And that's only because I'm building this a little bit different than I did before. And this is actually going to reference 0, 0 because we're not incorporating that, that jump to the middle. So we're just going to do 0, 0, and it's going to work for us. 
And then a couple of other things that we want to fix here um, is right here. Remember last time I was mentioning about how if you multi or if you touch quick, you know, it's gonna it's gonna mess it up and it's gonna look kind of jittery and stuff. Well, it's as simple as in the touch start saying doing the universe dot focus dot frame and just setting it equal to the universe dot focus dot frames. And basically what that does is it stops the animation from running and just goes all the way to the end for the frame so that it will stop running and that every single time you touch start, it'll do a fresh animation when you let go. So you don't have to worry about there being any kind of jitter because the problem is before there's an animation running while your finger's moving. So it's telling it to go two different directions and it's super confused. So this is just going to end the animation when you touch start and it will get rid of that for us. And then one other thing that I noticed is that I forgot in here to actually subtract a radius. And it's because when it's being drawn on the screen, it's just, you know, there's some values that are going to push us off a little bit from the center and just subtracting a radius is going to get us back on track. So y minus r. And of course, now I need to make a variable for r, because r is representing radius in this case. And we're just going to put it right under here, under our xy, and just set it equal to the universe.systems at the index.radius. So that will subtract the radius for us there. And at this point, everything should be working really well. And if you take a look above me, we have a video here and it looks super smooth and you can drag your finger around to different systems and you can see them all, you know, animating back to whichever one's closest to the center. And that is exactly what we wanted to do in this video. So it worked perfectly. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is video number 15 and 16 is coming soon. So stick around. Remember to subscribe below and to like my video. All right, guys. Thanks.